Hello again. Welcome to another video from Castle Kingdom. In this one, we're going to be setting up a 15 by 18 adult size castle. Hello again. Another day, another castle. Uh, this one today is an adult castle. Uh, we've done it in previous videos. In fact, we've done it in a previous video at the same location. So this is uh, another repeat customer. That's the castle there. Um, all our trolleys and stuff. Um, we've got to bring it in through the side here. Um, it's quite narrowly opening, but I've done them before, so it will go through. Uh, in fact, this was the last one I've done when I put my back out a couple of weeks ago. So we don't want to be doing that again. So nice and slowly does it, I think, is the way forward. some flat surface to get the trolley in, just how we like them. Little step, big step. And as I say, I've done jobs here previously before, so I do know the setup. Um, sometimes you have it on that side, on the left, over there which I did previously and sometimes on this side this time they've specified they want it here which is good okay we'll get the ground sheets down I may have to move one of the tables just to get it all set up but only move what you have to move
Now I just noticed something on one of these blowers. Uh, I'll take you in closer so you can see. Look at the cable. It's slightly torn there. Now we have previously repaired this by putting some silicon around it. But it's exposing the cable there. Uh, so obviously that's damaged, we can't use that. That is one of the very reasons why we always bring two blowers with us. Because you never know when you turn up on a job if you've got that damage. Now the blower works fine, but obviously you've got children's swings over here. So children will be at the back of the car too. And you don't want them touching anything that may have an, ex have an exposed wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill the blower, swap over the... Kill the cable rather, swap over the blower, uh, and then have this one repaired before it goes back out on the aisle. Right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull it out. So as you can see, it's, uh, what happens is with these, after a while, especially when they've been in storage in the winter months, this plastic coating or sheathing, it tends to sort of perish after a while. There is a, a way around it. You can drill this casing off, feed the cable through, um, and then it should be okay. Or you can put one of these around it, a grommet, silicon it on. This one's come loose, so it needs repairing again. Um, I may just take the casing off and feed it through into the case and so there's no exposed wires but uh, as it is we can't use it like that I mean you could but we don't we just take them apart and put a new one on right so I'm going to take take this one off and bring another one around Okay, right, I'll put under the blower on. Okay, I think the Velcro on these are starting to get a bit loose. We've had them quite a few years, but we've got an extra strap on just to make sure it's on. Because like I say, this castle is out for two days. It's going to get quite a bit of use. So, extra strap. Doesn't take two minutes. Yeah. Okay, right, I'll get around the other side. See here, a bit of mould appearing on here. It'll come off, but that's what happens when there's a spillage on the car, so when you pick it up, you don't notice it necessarily, but when you put it out on the next tire a week later, you'll have a mould patch like that. You can see it's a bit musty inside, which suggests to me there's probably a bit of food and drink consumed on this car the last time. But it's just an occupational hazard, so we just give it a quick wipe down. It does cause slight mould spots if you don't get it quick enough. It should be alright. It's going to be wiped down inside as well. Not too bad. I think we can last out this one about two weeks ago. Which is why you do get this uh, sort of a musty smell if it's been picked up wet. Slightly damp, but not too bad. Nice and springy. Rule number one, if you stand on the bounce cartridge. 
shoes on, unless you roll your bags of glass on. Then you get special dispensation. Just joking. Okay, right, that's that set up. Now we're going to peg it down. Which brings us to another little problem we've got. I don't know if you've noticed. But the peg is overhanging this path area, which we obviously can't fix to. So we're going to have to pull it back and reposition it. So all those pegs and anchor points securely fixed. Now we're okay on this side, so we can come over half a meter there. So we all we need to do is push it over, pull it back slightly so we can catch it on that piece of grass. Uh, and that gives them, if they do want to use the slide, they still can use it. But ideally, they shouldn't really be using a slide going into the back of a mountain castle. But all I can do is suggest that they don't do that or they take the slide piece off. But whether they do or not is another matter. Right. Well, the best way to push these over is with your back. Once they're inflated, like that. Now it's always easier to move these once they're inflated. It's quite hard to move these when they're, they're just lying on the ground because they're very, it's like a dead weight, but these, when they're inflated, it's easier to move. Easier to move, easier. I just want to go back a little bit more to get this anchor point. Just need to pull it back slightly. And that's it. Still positioned, and I'm going to anchor it all down. Now, there's a lot of trees in this garden as you can see, quite tall trees which does suck the moisture out of the ground. I'm hoping this isn't going to be too hard on this side. On that side we did last time it was okay because there wasn't as many trees which makes the ground softer. But on this side there's quite a lot. So let's have a look. Quite tough, but they are going in. It's definitely the toughest side. I would have thought it'd be on the other side where the trees are, but anyway, we got them in. We got a little grip under there to get the peg under. Feed it through, anchor it out. And that's it, I'm going to put a couple of little pegs in this ground sheet so it doesn't flap about. A couple of little small ones. Stop the wind picking it up. Okay, and that's it done. We go around and get the paperwork. And that's it. I think we'll end the video there. Just saw that it was set up. Um, and that's it. Just the one set up today, and um, I've got a couple of them I've got to pick up from yesterday, which I'm going about to do now. Okay, I'm just going to get the customer to sign the paperwork, and that's us done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.